question. Today I'm going to cover a top-down analysis for equity selection. A top-down analysis typically starts with looking at the state of the overall global economy. Then from there you narrow down to potential sectors that might do well given the economy. Then within that sector you look for the organisations or companies that seem to be outperforming its peers. Then when you get a company selected you need to obviously do some due diligence for that company and then potentially go to the bottom and look at technical analysis to spot any trends in its share price pattern. For this example I'm going to use the North American region. To start with you can look at the ECST World Economic Stats function. Just type in North America. That will give you some holistic overview. And the data here is supplied by the World Bank. However, you might want to narrow it down and go to America. Within America, you can use the menu on the left hand side to select a range of different indicators. For instance, the housing market, the retail sector. Now that gives you the facts. However, if you want to look at the forecasts, you can look at ECFC. And this will give you an overview of your selected country. And depending on the indicator, it may forecast up to 2017 or even 2018. If you want to look at quarterly forecasts, toggle between them. Now composite means that this forecast, these forecasts are an average of Bloomberg's uh, forecast providers, which are listed here. Alternatively, you can look at the official forecast, which that will be from, in this case, uh, the US Fed. Now, if you look at America's for, uh, forecast, improving trends look to be private investment, government spending uh, during, 20, during the early part of this year, um, and industrial production. So we think about it, at the minute oil prices on the way down. So you think that sector potentially may suffer. So other sectors that may do well given these forecasts would be potentially the construction sector. Okay, they are technically related to the oil price but let's have a look at that sector then. To start with, go to BI, Bloomberg Intelligence. Now from here, you've got a range of sectors selected to select. Now I said industrials was doing quite well. So if we go on there, we've got a range of different industrial sectors here. I'm going to go to the construction sector. Within here, this gives you snapshot information. This is globally. Um, and you can narrow it down to see what themes Bloomberg themselves are potentially suggesting for the construction sector, including their outlook for the year. Now I want to look at, uh, to try and spot the best companies within this sector. So I'll click on company. Now this is an area where it aggregates the likes of financial data for all the companies within this sector. Now to make it less confusing, if you close all, all the tabs here, you can 
see what what's uh, going on. So, for instance, revenue growth. Okay, you can see it's not it has declined somewhat. However, it's still in the green. And however, revenue itself has potentially fallen. But assets look to be on the increase. That's a snapshot view. But what is potentially better to look at would be to open up these and look at which companies are performing better. I'm going to go into the profitability tab. Here you have who do you want to look at in the construction industry? This is the global view. Okay, I want to focus on North America, so I'll have a look in North America. Again, if I close them down, it'll be easier to look at. So within profit and, profit and loss, we have a range of different indicators to choose from. Uh, Normally a good indication for potential revenue in the future is sales, or more importantly sales growth. So if we open up that, within the North America region, you have uh, these number of companies here. If you look at a snapshot view, uh, one that's potentially doing a better out of them, who isn't negative in the last year, would be Stuart Olson Incorporated. Uh, so if you hover over it, it'll give you more information. Now, SOXCN suggests that this is a Canadian company. And potentially it is on a sales growth basis, it's performing better than its peers. But as you can see, it didn't do too well in 2011, 2013. But 2014, moving towards 15, is it recovering? Um, out of, this, out of these seven, it's potentially the best, certainly, for sales growth. So let's let's investigate this company a bit more and try and compare it with uh, the sector again. Best place to start is in the search field of BI. So here, we can simply type in the ticker. So it was S-O-X-C-N, okay, so we click there. And what this prompts you is it tells you that which sector it classes this company to be from. So this is the North American non-resident construction one we selected earlier on. Uh, and make a note of this ticker here. And that's where we need to start. So we'll go back to the command line. And I'll type in B I N A N C V P. And there it is. Now, if you want to know what I'm looking at, this is an index for all the construction organisations. Click on DES and it will tell you that. However, I'm going to look at financial analysis of the sector. Now, this will be an aggregate of all of the seven companies that we're within here. If you want to compare the one company, use the compare button here and type in the company. So we had SOX, SOX, LN, sorry, CN. There we go. So if you have the price earn ratio here of the sector, and then you have the company. So on that front, it's below average. But let's start looking at profitability. As an investor, this is probably important to you. So here you can see it's performing better for gross margin. Uh, return on assets, it's not performing as well. So potentially this could help you work out, is this company good to invest in compared to its peers? Alternatively, you can Start from the company view. To 
compare it with its, with its peers here, you can, you can click on relative value. And see, this is a medium of the industry and see how this company compares. And these are the selected companies it's comparing it with. For more information on the company, go back to the previous menu and you can have a look at the research or earnings estimates, go into do some due diligence by looking at just the financial analysis of its own, of the company itself without the PS selection. If you want to try and speculate to see if there's any uh, news coming from the company, click on the events tab and it will tell you potentially when the next earnings announcement is for instance. So the next update is on the on the first of March, and that'll be the uh, quarter fourth, twenty fifteen. So potentially, if you are to put an option play an option strategy in place around this time, you might see some share movement. And finally, if you're happy with the company and you want to see is it a good time to invest using technical analysis. You can look at the tech function, which is a list of technical analysis charts. Um, there's plenty to choose from. Each technical chart gives a definition here. I'm just going to use a simple one, so directional movement index. Uh, it tells you who created it, created it and what it means. To look at it for the company, just pick, click on here where it says run, and it should appear. Um, so what this is telling you, obviously the directional index suggesting at the moment it's in the red. However, you can see right at the end there, it's merged together. So that tends to signal um, upward movement in price. For example, here's one back in October. I can see a staying little bit of growth. Um, so potentially, it may be at a buying signal now. For more information on equity analysis, there is a Panopto video lecture recording which goes through the menu functions in more detail for the company. Alternatively, there is a user guide on the Blackboard site as well, which you can observe. Thank you very much.